And we are back. Pokemon X Hardcore Nuzlocke. We have made it to the final battle, the championship battle against Diantha. And this is it. It's a 6v6. Really good squads on both sides. And I am super excited. So instead of spoiling my little sneaky strategy, let's go right into the Radiant Chamber. And let's see if we can secure the victory here. Oh my goodness. So this is a kind, kind of a cheesy strategy to start out with, but if it works, we are going to do some major damage before potentially losing anybody. And again, since this is the final fight, we are not going to hold back. We are going to go for it all. So if instead of sometimes swapping and taking massive damage, we are just going to let that Pokemon die and so we can get a free swap. So you run into that situation a lot when in the championship battles. All of that being said, what I want to do here is uh, burn the Halucha. Halucha's passive actually doesn't let it get paralyzed. So we just want to get the burn to open the door. So Swords Dance comes down kind of... Uh, Okay, well, that kind of just ruined everything I was going for now that I think about it. I wanted to burn Halucha, swap into my uh, Crustle, and then completely Shell Smash out of the out of the arena, and then sweep with um, a Shell Smashed um, Crustle. But if he has Swords Dance, he's going to be hitting so hard that that isn't a possibility, unless that Burn Connect but it did not. So I think we're just going to go for the kill with acrobatics. This is going to do a lot more damage because of the swords dance, unfortunately. It still didn't do a lot because it's not very effective, but we're just going to go ahead and kill the Halucha. <laughs> we're just going to kill the Halucha um, and see who she sends out after that. Probably the ghost pumpkin, maybe. Nope. Tyrantrum comes down. Right, he's got rock. Okay. So he's got rock smash. Um, which is super effective against most of my things here. Um, he is weak to quite a lot. Let's see here. Gonna have to swap out because I can't kill it in one shot and I can't... Um, I will die to a rock smash head on. Um... Ludicolo is just half and half. Reckless. I think the best play is uh, Knightly, the Stunfisk. Let's do that. Um, he can eat a, a Rock Smash pretty easily, I think. Um, head, sma head Smash, rather. Uh, rock Smash is just the weak fighting type move. That was a critical hit. Going to get a lot of recoil damage. Unfortunately, I don't have... Um, leftovers. I put it on my Crab, so that's going to be... A pain. Um, uh, well, okay, let's just do the earthquake. A little bit flustered here. My plan did where earthquake is super effective. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god, I completely forgot. We went slower. Oh my goodness gracious. Please, please kill the T Rex. Please kill the T Rex. Are you serious? Oh god. Okay, like, so we can Earthquake, get some damage down, or we can Scald, risk it all for a burn, and then swap into the, the little crab, and then go ham from there, since our, our Crustle has incredible defense. I don't know what the chances of burn on Scald are, but that would be incredible. Um, or we just swap... Just straight swap. Use the full restore as a clean swap. Gosh darn it, dude. Stunfisk is so good. Stunfisk would one-shot the next dragon, but without any HP, it is basically dead already. Like, it's so slow. Every other Pokemon on her team will kill it. So we either... So Stunfisk, I'm like basically accepting the fact that Knightley's not going to make it here. So we can either go for an Earthquake to get the damage down or a Hail Mary Scald.
to potentially get that cheese play for the, the remainder of the sweep. Um, oh, crackers. Oh, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go I'm going to go for Skull in, instead of the Earthquake. Uh, it's probably a stupid decision, but if the burn comes in, Knightly is going to be MVP fading away here with the burn. No burn. We die. Everything's over, dude. Oh, we could swap. Oh, maybe I should have gone for Earthquake and Critted, but either way, our, our beautiful fish here is dead. Um... I could swap into the flying type, my Drift Blim, to dodge the Earthquake, but then I don't have enough to kill it. Oh, I should have done that, because then I could have killed it with Phantom Force. I, I just don't think the damage we're about to take is worth swapping out. As much as this pains me, I think we're just going to let um, Knightly die here. We're going to have to let Knightly die. I just lost my best answer to the Aurorus. Um... Now, I could still try to get some Shell Smash off with the Scuttle here, with the Crustle. Um, maybe do that. I mean, who else am I going to be able to ramp up on? Um, and I, I would love to get a burn off with Drift Blim, but if I miss the burn, it will die to a, um, a Head Smash. And it's got a 15% chance, so it probably will. So maybe, maybe we just go with how ridiculous Crustle's defense is and kind of roll the dice from there. So I'm going to go ahead and get one Shell Smash. We are faster, so that's going to make us faster quite a bit here. Um, now, how much damage? Oh my god, Head Smash misses. Are you serious right now? We get a double down on Shell Smash for free. No one on their team has Sturdy, and now potentially I'm faster than everyone. Head Smash connects, barring a critical here. Oh my god, it was still enough. What am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about, and now... We are in priority uh, move range, unless we can heal our, our way out of this, uh, which I do not believe we can. So we're going to go ahead and kill the T-Rex, but that is just so much damage from that move. I, I was hoping it wouldn't pop the sturdy, but man, that was a lot of damage. Um, wow. Okay. So Gujar comes down, who does not have a priority move, I do not believe. Um, so we're still here. All right, we need to calculate some damage here real quick. Uh, bug should be neutral against um, Dragon, Mate, which makes X-Scissor our best move. Um, I'm correct. Yep. I'm pretty sure that is correct. So we're going to go X Scissor four times, basically two Swords Dance. We should be faster. If Gudra doesn't die, we lose Scuttle. If Gudra does die, we might be able to bring one more. Okay, we're Hail Marrying here. Please, Gudra. Please, Gudra. Yes. Yes, I love Gudra. Very, very huggable. Uh, one of my favorite Pokemon from X and Y. Unfortunate we didn't get to get one of our own, but no problem. There's Scuttle flexing. Gets a little bit back from the leftovers. And now we are down three Pokemon. I'm a little bit all over the place, but Aurorus comes down. I'm like 100% sure she should have swapped to the pumpkin and then used like Phantom Sneak or whatever is the quick attack version of the ghost move. Um, but Aurorus comes down and um, let's see here. I think Earthquake is the play since Aurorus is Ice Rock. Um, so ground is super effective. I do not believe bug is, and I don't believe poison jab is. So we're going to have a four times uh, attack scuttle here with earthquake. This should one shot. This should one shot. We are sneaking through the enemy's defenses with a limping crab here. Um, but that leftover slowly sneaking us 
back to the yellow here. Really good stuff. Sturdy is a super strong passive. My goodness. So we are at 50, and the gorgeous set, or Gorgeist, however you say that, comes down. Very ugly pumpkin. Um, I love its pre-evolution, though. Anyways, that being said, um, I believe Poison Jab is super effective, unless Poison is not very effective to Ghost. Um... I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter because either Poison Jab or X Scissor should kill um, given the buff and attack. It's just if it uses a priority um, Shadow Sneak, I believe, then we lose. Poison Jab comes down and it didn't use the priority move. So if this kills, OK. We get the leftovers heal here, so I think X Scissor would have done more damage since they're both neutral, but I don't think it would have been enough to kill. I could be wrong. X Scissor might have brought it to the 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 red there. So I'm pretty sure we're dead. I'm pretty sure we are dead if this thing connects. So we could swap, but there is really no point in swapping a 62 HP crab because then I can't swap it back in. It won't be faster than Guard of Wire. So we are going all in here. If we live, even with one HP, I do believe Scuttle wins the game. Um, and we're gonna go for the X Scissor. So, so we're gonna miss, if we live this attack, Okay, we do not. Scuttle is dead. The pumpkin has killed us. Okay. Grass ghost. We are going to go Mikas of the Lapras here. Absolutely. Lapras comes down. I just noticed that. I full restored the Lapras, but it didn't heal all the way. That's super interesting. Okay, so if we lose that 7 HP, that will come back to bite us. Here we go. Ice Beam, are we faster? We are not faster, and this is going to be super effective. But Lapras eats it like it's nothing, connects with the Ice Beam. So we are down to the Mega Guard of Wire, the final Pokemon. I have three and a half Pokemon to throw at this thing. Now it is super effective, I believe, to all four of them. Um, maybe not Ludicolo. Um, it traced my Water Absorb, but it's gonna do the Mega Evolve. So, uh, do we get greedy for the rest? Are we faster? I'm pretty sure Mega Guard of Wire level 68 is going to be faster than our Lapras. And I'm going to assume that it's going to use Thunderbolt, which honestly will probably kill. Thunderbolt from a Mega Guard of Wire is probably going to kill us. So do we just try to get the damage down? Or... Because rest, okay, we go back to full, but then Thunderbolt's still going to two-shot. So rest is kind of a silly point. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I do believe we're going to lose Lapras here. Mega Gardevoir is an absolute problem. Thunderbolt comes down. I'm pretty sure we die. Like, oh my gosh. Maybe I should have used rest. Wow. Well, we got some nice damage down. Um, I potentially could have got one more ice beam off, uh, but it's just going to use another thunderbolt. We're going to let Mika Sessa come to her wounds here. Um, so someone else doesn't have to eat that. Um, since Mega Guard Wire is faster, again, sending out a level um, an eight HP is not going to do many favors for us here. So, attract won't work. 
honestly, it's like, do we just chip it down far enough for Idola to finish it off with the Shadow Phantom Force? Or, um, because I also would like to paralyze it, but I don't know if that's the play. Because if I paralyze it, then all of my Pokemon are going to be faster than it, which is really nice. So do I go for the Reckless play, who has really good special defense? We're going to have to eat a Shadow Ball, though. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so I prepared a Berry for Reckless that can eat the Shadow Ball, and that's going to free up this turn to use the Thunder Wave. Oh, but it used Moonblast. That's going to do a good chunk here. It didn't lower our special attack, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, okay. So if I Calm Mind, we are going to be flirting with crits. Um, if I just go for a Shadow, we do not want Guard of Wire to get a full restore. We do not want to get it into full restore range, and I don't know if one Shadow Ball will do the job. So I'm going to play it super safe here and just use Recover and potentially get maybe like one or two Calm Minds to push the Shadow Ball damage over the edge. So the Berry is going to eat this Shadow Ball we really need our special defense not to drop, okay? And that weaken the damage. We can potentially still die to a Shadow Ball. I'm going to go ahead for a Calm Mind, and if this Guard of Wire can be fully paralyzed, it's just going to open the door so much. Um, so please, Paralysis, pay off. Come on, come on. It didn't pay off. This really needs to hold on here, Reckless. Absolutely. Okay, the Calm Mind playing... A huge role in there. We're going to get the recover. Can Reckless be the hero of the broken? Can we do this? Recover is huge. And there is the paralysis. So I just want three calm minds. I think that will be enough. I think that will be enough. And it will protect Reckless from any counter damage here. No criticals. We need to dodge the criticals. Okay. Really good. I'm going to go for one more Calm Mind. And let's see where that leaves us. Okay. Paralyzed, can't move, unbelievable. We're going to go for the Shadow Ball. Reckless drops back, throws the Shadow Ball at the Mega Gardevoir. It's super effective, and it is enough damage. Reckless taking home the trophy, absolutely Avenges the Lapras. Absolutely ridiculous. Avenges Scuttle the Crustle. Wow. And everyone else that we lost along the way. Absolutely incredible incredible battle. Um my gosh. <laughs> also avenges the Stunfisk. Wow. So we ended up losing three in the final battle. Not bad for a, a really close 6v6 there. Um, but we do manage to take home the win. Um, MVP's got to go to Reckless. Um, that was not as clean as you'd hope it to be, but um, still really good stuff nonetheless. Uh, really enjoyed Pokemon X. Um, very excited to do a Pokemon Y run through in uh, the future and potentially diving over to, I believe, White 2 um, very soon here. Get another series going. So as always, thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you on the flip. Peace.